Lori and Greg, fire seasons are longer. They're considered deeper, and we're seeing August conditions in July. We did have that big 70,000 acre grass fire recently near Vantage. The plan is to make those kinds of fires the exception, despite increased risks. They call this airplane a fire boss. It's a mini water bomber, but our story is not just about an airplane. It's about a strategy, a strategy to kill fires while they're still small before they can turn into the kind of monsters requiring giant jets like DC 10s that we saw in 2014 and 2015 back to back record fire years in Washington state. So the gate's what we call a hydromax. George Moore has a lot of experience flying the fire boss. We work in a really tight team atmosphere all the time. Teams of two airplanes and more. And like the DNR's eight firefighting helicopters, the fire boss can reload on local lakes and rivers. Normally it's happening is you get down, you sit on the water, you get on the water and you're doing about 60 miles an hour, you go full power and, and pull the scoop button and that, this folds down and just it's a two and five eighths pipe. And through that pipe and one on the other side, we load about 800 gallons in, uh, in about 15 seconds. There are eight fire bosses on exclusive contracts to the state. Five, including these, are owned by Dauntless Air out of Minnesota. Staging areas can be moved with trucks and trailers, what Moore calls a tanker base in a box. Ground crews and pilots standing by their aircraft for when a fire breaks out. The state tells us where they want us to set up and we'll set up there. I actually started out crop dusting way back in the day. Which is how Dauntless Air started. Brett Lesperance is company CEO. Uh, aircraft is typically ready to go and within four or five minutes we're at the end of the runway and we're taking off. It was that back-to-back -back record fire season that had the state changing its approach. More helicopters added to the state's own fleet which stands at eight plus a ninth from Chelan County and the eight fire bosses. The quick air attack strategy appears to be working. So we've largely been able to keep over 94 percent of our fires below 10 acres this year. Hillary Franz is commissioner of public lands and saw similar numbers in 2017. It says 2018 also saw a record number of fire starts so far, 835, and the fire season is far from over. About a third have been on the western part of our state. Um, this is a new phenomenon that we have not seen before. Fighting fires, 800 gallons at a drop. Now, the state spent $134 million fighting fires last year. It spent half a billion on those record fire seasons just a few years ago. And Franz says she may ask for the legislature to get more helicopters and get more fire bosses on contract. Okay, I heard you say something about more fire starts in western this Washington. This is a really, Why? really important message because it is drier here. The season is deeper here. Remember those two earliest fires in February, Mason and Lewis counties, this okay. side of the Cascades. That is making everybody real nervous, and there's a feeling that people who live on this side of the state, particularly newcomers, think it's an eastern Washington problem. It's a California problem. It will never happen here. Everybody has to be on notice. All right, Glenn, thank you.